Craig Hemingway on a windy day, weeks ahead of the 800 CHAB Family First Radiothon and in behind where myself and Five Hills Health Region Director of Strategy and Communications, Kyle Matthews, are, yes, the brand new regional hospital for the Five Hills Health Region here in Moose Jaw, set to open sometime next year. And, and Kyle, let, let's start there. You've been uh, so close to this project over the last uh, couple of years since it was announced. Uh, talk about your feelings and excitement leading up to this. Well, it, yeah, it really is exciting. For I think for those of us that are attached to it, it's important to step back every once in a while and remember how exciting it is because when you're mixed in with the details and all the planning, it's easy to lose sight of just how fantastic this is for Moose Jaw and our whole region. So, yeah, it's very exciting. And talk about uh, you know your role through this whole thing, a strategy and communications, trying to help with some of the planning and then, of course, uh, communicate that to to those of us yeah you know what it's been uh, it's been challenging for sure be, um, and and a great opportunity at the same time so I've been been uh, really involved in the planning uh, I've been involved in the, the big events that we've held with where we've brought all of our staff members in to uh, and public members of the public to help design our facility I was quite involved there but then also trying to tell that story about how our new hospital will function and uh, as much as it's a really exciting thing, part, we're making a lot of changes to the way that we're delivering care, and so we want to we want to help people understand how that's going to work and how how beneficial that's going to be to to uh, the public in the end. Uh, describe to us some of the public feedback you've received and some of the the most asked questions. Well, most asked question without a doubt uh, is about parking, and uh, what? yeah. <laughs> So I always tell I always tell people you know our current hospital sits on just under six acres of land, and uh, when we when we bought up here we bought 30 acres of land so we have more than enough land to make sure that we have enough parking so uh, that that definitely is the big question that people have. Now again behind us uh, the new hospital um, it's going to be so beautiful so new so different than what we have right now and in, in, in the way it looks of course uh, but in the way that it flows in the way that we as patients will walk through the door and things will happen and as we get to the radiothon of course raising money for something brand new to this province to, to the country I believe the universal care area uh, describe that to us please. Well the universal care area like you said is is new um, new to Canada but it, it does exist in other places and it's not really a complicated uh, idea. What we're trying to do is bring all the services that would be called outpatient services where people come in and they they need whatever that service is, be it emergency or uh, day surgery or uh, ambulatory care, these kinds of things. And we've tried to bring those into the same same area. And what that's going to allow us to do is, instead of moving people all over the hospital to access those services, uh, we'll be able to bring them into those that same area and then have a, a lot of our outside services come to them instead of moving people to the lab or to um, uh, appointments on the second floor with nurses and these kinds of things. Those services will come to patients. And of course, a big thing for people will be a radical change is the fact that the privacy in these new rooms uh, far exceeds anything that's in our hospital right now, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. And that would be true of this area, but also our inpatient units. Uh, so all of our inpatient beds will be single patient standard rooms, which will be uh, so much nicer for our patients for, for all kinds of reasons. But in the uni universal care area as well, um, we have 43 treatment rooms that are again private. They'll have space for family members to be in there, in there uh, with people as well. And unlike what happens in our current hospital, uh, if you're coming in for day surgery where there's a lot of people around you, again, this is very private for people. And and once you're once you've been admitted into that treatment room, uh, you'll have a very uh, confidential private experience all your way to the operating room. So much better for patients. Such an exciting time and an exciting time here, weeks away from the Family First Radiothon, which is happening May 1st and 2nd at the Town & Country Mall, our 8th annual, and all the money we're raising this year is going towards new equipment for the Universal Carrier, which you just uh, described to us, Kyle. Uh, and you've been around for how many radiothons now since you uh, took this post in Moose Jaw? Uh, this will be my third. Yeah, and uh, you know the radiothon is such a uh, such an important part of the uh, Moose Jaw Health Foundation's work, and of course your your partnership with CHAB. Um, and from the the region's perspective, it's such a great affirmation of the importance of healthcare in our communities, and uh, the community certainly responds every year in such overwhelming ways and generosity. 
Yeah, well, we're looking forward to it, and there are many ways that, that you can help the Radiothon. If you'd like to have a fundraiser for the Radiothon, you can let us know about it. You can click the CHAB page at discovermoosejaw.com, or just come Radiothon time, visit us at the Town & Country Mall, May 1st or May 2nd, starting 6 a.m. on the 1st, uh, and of course, the phone number will be 691-GIVE. Kyle Matthews, uh, thanks for joining us today, and we'll, we'll see you on May 1st and 2nd. Absolutely my pleasure, Craig. Thanks.